morning everyone welcome to our channel it's 3:15 am and we are on our way to abu dhabi because we are traveling to salala and we are going to take you guys along with us so it is a very last minute uh, plan so we are going to explore salala on the go so we we will be there for two days so come with us and enjoy the trip For this trip, we had Vinod, Varsha, and Vanya joining us. Yay! <laughs> Hello, Vanya. Hello. 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 <laughs> We opted the bus air from Abu Dhabi to Salala and the flight time was approximately 2 hours lesser than 2 hours to be precise After we reached uh, Salala the next plan was to buy uh, a SIM card just one for all of us put together There were a lot of options in uh, the airport but we finally took Vodafone uh, because their packages were more suitable for our trip we took the 8 Omani Real package which had uh, 15 GB uh package so that was good as we exited the airport uh the next thing to do was to get hold of our rental car so we were uh shocked to see the amount of dirt surrounding majority of the cars here and apparently it is all because of the rains in salala and that's how it is here so that was a little different from what we had seen so far in any other country so we had identified these people from dubai itself and we did all the arrangements on whatsapp it's called modern rent a car hi hello hello manya முதல்ல கொஞ்சம் தட்டி தடவை ஓட்ட போறாங்க ஓட்டினா போதும் and we were welcomed with mild rains wow such a beautiful weather can't really believe that this is in the middle east due to the constant rains salala transforms into a green paradise and it's the most green between june to september which is famously called as the karif season mm-hmm. 
our first stop was definitely for our tummies because we had to stop for breakfast and we chose Udupi vegetarian restaurant which is one of the most famous uh, veg places in Salala we have got a suggestion to come here for breakfast so our first stop is for breakfast at Udupi vegetarian restaurant it is just some 15 minutes away from the airport That restaurant was okay nothing major to hype about but it was just fine the next stop uh, was iftirkut viewpoint something that we just found on the way uh, so let's see how that place is On our way, we saw few stalls uh, on either sides of the road where people can stop and have some refreshments, mostly uh, barbecue type uh, food. So, if you are a non-veg eater, then you can definitely try this. It was a bit of an off-road um, experience, and because of the rains, it was a little slippery as well. So, if you're coming to this place, I would recommend to have a four-wheeler. But I had seen a lot of people coming by sedans also, so it's up to you. But uh, please be careful if you're visiting this place. After that bumpy ride we reached the spot and let me tell you it is worth it. It was so beautiful. This is one of my favorite places that we visited in Salala. Please don't miss this. Doesn't it look mind blowing? Feel the turquoise waters, pristine sand, dramatic cliffs and a panoramic ocean view. This is more than stunning and it offers so much serenity. Around the cliff you will be able to find spots like these which reminds you of Switzerland. Definitely you would have seen a lot of postcards from Switzerland which is very similar to what you're seeing right now. Driving in Salala can never get boring which is one of the reasons why people prefer doing a road trip to Salala because look at this. One side it's mountains and the other side it's beach. also coupled with our friends yes the camels mm -hmm. 
wow that was such a beautiful sight to see The next spot for us was Al Marnif cave which is one of the famous tourist destinations in Salala. Outside the spot there was a place like this where you could spend some time with these beautiful birds. Of course you will have to pay for it and get some amazing pictures with these beautiful birds that you can see here. <laughs> Located in Shati Al Muksail area, which is about 40 kilometers from Salala, Al Marnif Cave is ranked among the top 10 most popular tourist attractions in the Indian Ocean. It overlooks the Arabian Sea and the Al Muksail Fountains, which also happens to be the most preferred picnic spot by locals as well as tourists. Al Marnif cave doesn't qualify as a cave due to the absence of any opening, yet the symbolic cave-like look lets it qualify as a cave. The cave is a large rocky structure which faces a mountain. Several smaller caves are also present on Al Marnif making it a popular rock climbing spot. Another reason which makes Marnif Cave a popular tourist attraction are the Al Muksail blowholes which is the natural fountains. There are three of these which are at proximity to the beach. The sound of water gushing through rock cavities and hence emerging out as a natural fountain altogether makes up for a marvelous sight. There is also a small zip lining option here as well if you're interested. Then we quickly stopped for lunch and then we were headed to our accommodation. Vanya gave me a beautiful hand massage. Such a cutie. This is 
Salala. And finally, after a long drive, we reached our resort, which is Windham Gardens. This was pretty far from the main city uh, and uh, quite a ride from the airport as well. So that's why we covered most of the places that we wanted to do on the uh, other side of Salala before we reached the resort any which ways we had time until check-in so we finished all of that and came in right at the time of check-in So this resort was located in a place called Mirbat and like I said it is pretty secluded and there are certain tourist locations which are closer to this space as well so it is not uh, far from all the tourist destinations but for some yes it is far but uh, we got this at a good price so we opted for this um, resort. The reception lobby was amazing to see it was so beautiful and clean and uh, they had a beautiful ceiling uh, with intricate glass designs which is so pretty to watch and um, we also were offered some welcome drinks including the umani kava as well so we quickly finished our check-in procedures and we were off to our rooms There is a balcony and guess what, it is a beach view. a dip inside the pool how do we get to the pool which is the way to the pool Ooh. yeah go down yes yes yeah go down okay
So we are in the infinity pool. I don't know if you can call this infinity pool, but this is one of the biggest pools in uh, Salala, which is in the resort that we are staying at, which is Vindam Garden. They have a large pool here. Have a jacuzzi in the, uh, in the center, and they have a kids' pool on that side as well. So, we'll be having our best time here, and it's like a warm water, it's not very cold, so it's fun. to day two of our trip in Salala we've just refreshed and we are out to have our breakfast uh, so after breakfast we have a lot of things planned for the day we will take you around so stay tuned they have a good spread of breakfast When you are in Salala, you must not miss this place, which is the Wadi Darbat. First, we went into the canal where we did a bit of boating. The spring is at the end of the road leading to the valley. This is the biggest lake in Salala and is wet all year around. But in Karif, the lake is surrounded by green mountains and cloudy weather, which makes boat ride on this lake irresistible. There are various types of boats that are available to choose from and explore the clean lake of the Wadi. 
we found various options of boats and the pricing also differs so ensure you take a stroll and find the best fit for your budget Wadi Darbar is the most beautiful and spectacular place in Salala and the perfect place for mountain and nature lovers. This is a magnificent site for bird watching among Salala tours and its major attraction is the sound of singing birds. The ride lasted for some 15 to 20 minutes but it was a breathtaking experience. I mean I could stay here with this view forever. Then it was time to visit the breathtaking step waterfall. I mean look at this beauty. Can you believe this is in Middle East? This waterfall is a cascade waterfall at Wadi Darbar which continued from May 2018 non-stop till the next Kharif season. This waterfall was created after Mekunu cyclone. There is boating option here as well to go closer to the waterfalls. However, the canal is more preferred by the tourists. The sound of the waterfalls and the beautiful blue turquoise color of the water is something that you must visit in person. It is truly mesmerizing. And this is how we passed through and reached the top of the Ain Atum waterfalls just to see where the starting point of the waterfall is. so a few people come here for just camping there is a lot of space inside the woods where you can have your own private space and have a beautiful time amongst the nature Now it's time to visit the main waterfalls which is the Ain Atum waterfalls of which we just witnessed the starting point now let's see how it flows through and becomes a mesmerizing waterfall
The Ain Atum waterfall is seasonal and typically seen during the monsoon season only but if you're lucky you might witness it during the off season as well. This place is beautiful for your Insta posts so ensure you click as many pictures as possible. I have done it too. If you haven't seen it on my Instagram page yet, please do go and check it out. Bono, anti gravity, anti mala boy, milk. Yes, we were at the famous anti gravity spot. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Many people come to Salala anti gravity spot. to see their cars going up the hill at neutral gear without any acceleration indeed this place is a unique one in oman but is this really an anti gravity spot if this were an anti gravity place people would have started to fly and the object would have started to move in the air but in actual this doesn't happen so the gravity does exist so it is not an anti gravity point but it is just a gravity hill a gravity hill also known as a magnetic hill mystery hill mystery spot or gravity road is a place where the layout of the surrounding land produces an optical illusion making a slight downhill slope appear to be an uphill slope Look at that car going in reverse automatically. Insane, right? Later we had a stop at Jabal Sama for an amazing sunset view and some karak Next day morning we had a quick pass through at the Kerala market just to see how it looks though the shops were closed we just had a quick run around the shops and it was literally just like kerala property so that's it for a quick salala trip i hope you guys find this video useful and enjoyable if you did please do like share and subscribe to our channel uh, it will be of a great support to us until we meet next time see you bye hey daddy